Good morning, my lovely, lovely Libras, Crosswatchers, Channel fans, or anybody else who might be in here wanting to hear this uplifting message all about you. Okay? I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, having fun, living life, and feeling fine. All right. Who are we focusing on today, Spirit? I just did your daily reading and oh my goodness, what an awesome reading that was. And I'm still pumped up with all that positive energy. Oh, I can't even tell you. You definitely will not want to miss that reading. Even if it's not a message for you, which I think it fits for almost everybody out there. Something great's coming. All right. Let's see who we are focusing on today. What makes you truly magical? What about you makes you truly magical page of pentacles you are a starter you're an initiator somebody who has bright ideas and and puts things into motions you could be an inventor a creator um a business starter and then you sell the business you, you are the initiator Okay, you've got brilliant bright ideas you keep an open mind you've got You've got this sense of awe and wonder and capability and understanding of how everything works. And you, you, I wish this is the energy I had. I've come up with so many great inventions in my head and never moved on it. You literally move forward on it. You, you don't just get the idea. You plant the seeds. You get it growing. And then once it's grown to a certain thing, you're fine with passing it on to somebody else. That's not your point. Your, your magical quality is to be able to take inspiration and put it into action, into physical form, and then let it go. Okay? It's all about you taking the idea and putting it into physical form. Creating whatever it is that came to you. Beautiful energy here. Now, this can work in a lot of different ways. I did just get this... Um, not only just inventors um, in the truest sense of inventions, like the person who creates the iPhone or the person who created the typewriter or the person who invented hairspray, whatever. It doesn't matter. You, it, it can come in any form, okay? But it can also come in the form of somebody who builds websites because you're constantly creating an idea here. OK, so you're taking the inspiration and you're turning it into something solid. I hope that makes sense. Because, I mean, OK, an artist, a, a musician, you have an inspiration and you create something out of that inspiration. That's what this energy is. Not just having this idea in your head like I do all the time. I've got great inspiration all the time. In fact, sometimes I'm overwhelmed with so many Inspir, inspir, inspiring, there's the word I'm looking for, things, okay, ideas that I don't know where to begin. And I think that's my problem, is that I just have too many. And I'm already involved with so many things. But I'm happy to see somebody else achieving that, creating those things. Beautiful energy here. And this does feel magical. I mean, it really does. And people around you are kind of like, this person works magic. Where do they get their ideas from? Where does this come from? I imagine that this is how um, a lot of people spoke about um, Bill Gates, Bezos, uh, you know, that Z guy. Um, anybody that's created, uh, Franklin, Edison, anybody, okay? Eli Whitney, the cotton machine, whatever, cotton gin. Anyways. This is your energy. This is what's truly magical about you. Okay, what have you accomplished that you should be really, really proud of? So what's the thing? Oh, new ideas. See, new ideas. Ace of Wands here. Things that actually inspire people, create a passion within people. Okay, yes. Okay, so you're taking the inspiration. You are taking the inspiration. You're creating things that help to inspire other people. Awesome. It, but this is really, the, your accomplishment is in being able to get a firm grasp on that idea and how to turn it into reality. 
That's your accomplishment. Taking it out of the chaos, taking it out of the ether, taking it from an idea, a concept, a plan into reality. I mean, beautiful, beautiful accomplishment. And you do this repeatedly. I'm hearing that you, you've done this repeatedly. If you're just starting your journey, hang on because you're about to accomplish and create and do for years and years to come. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's see what kind of impact you have on the people around you. Um, first of all, this is probably going to be international. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the world card. The chariot, you help change people's lives. You change the direction of your life, other people's lives. And again, I'm getting that chaos. You bring people um, firm, clear ways to deal with whatever. So if you're a website creator, you take somebody's ideas. And it, I mean, that's incredible to be able to do this, okay? To take other people's ideas and then turn it into something that you create that they're happy with. OK, but you change the direction of people's lives here through sheer determination, through sheer will. OK, by creating, by taking hold and and really look at this. This person is holding that sword out there and making it a reality, making it a truth, making it a clear, concise thing. Absolutely love this. And you have a powerful um, impact on people around you. So some of you may be so good at this that you inspire other people to do, to create, to learn how to do this. Now, I am getting for most of you that this, this ability, let's call it a, this ability, comes to you and I, I don't want to use it that way. Okay, Spirit, help me out here, please. Um, I started to say past life knowledge, but it's not necessarily your past life knowledge. It's just that collective consciousness. You're tuned in and tapped into it. Okay, you're connected to the collective consciousness, the energy that we're all connected to, but you literally are tapping into it in such a way that most other people don't. They, this has become easy for you. Okay? Beautiful. All right. What is a talent or skill that you have that we should know about? The Queen of Wands. Yeah, you are unique. You definitely are unique. I'm also hearing, look at this, and wands, wands, wands. I mean, this is just like <laughs> creative energy all over the place. Leadership skills. You take the lead. You're not going to follow anybody. You, there is somebody you may follow, but it's your inspiration. It is your higher power. Okay? That's about the only person that you are going to follow the lead. You take inspiration from this energy. Okay? Queen, though, you are unique, charismatic, boisterous, ready to go, thinking outside the box. And again, not letting anyone tell you that can't be done. Oh, heck no. Whoops. <laughs> I wanted to say H-E double hockey stick. Why can't I say the word hell? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I kept trying to say that word and it would not come out. That is too funny. <laughs> you are not going to let anybody tell you no. Because if you doubted yourself or your inspiration or your abilities for even one minute, you would never be able to create the beauty that you are creating. Okay? And you do. You create beautiful, useful, um, inspiring, life-changing, life-altering things. Okay? Keep at it. Don't ever let anyone tell you no. Yeah, laugh at him. Just look at him like, yeah. yo, dude. Um, Yeah, no to you. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of joyous, happy spirit or energy out here today. What do you do right now that you should never, ever stop doing the Hierophant? And the Hierophant is all about elevating, learning. So starting off as a... Um, initiate, and then an apprentice, and then mastering a skill, okay? If, I hope I've got that in the right order. I keep meaning to look that up. 
Somebody dropped me a comment. Is that the correct order? Initiate, apprentice, and then master? Um, anyways, that's what you do. That's what you do, okay? This is what you do. You look at things. You grab it from the ether. You're connected to the ether, to the energy, to the collective consciousness. And you use your keys to access the information that's out there. You take it and you put it into creation. Wow. Wow. This is the Hierophant card here. This is very, um, very, very connected. Definitely connected. I'm also hearing that you know how to find the resources. I'm getting magician energy, which the Hierophant is, obviously, in, in certain ways. Okay, he's got his wand, too. Um, you know how to pool resources. Okay, so it's not only that you have an idea that you can bring to life. You know where to go to create or get the resources that you need to create what you want. I was just sitting here with my eyes closed while I was saying that. So that must mean something to somebody. Maybe that's how you do it. Maybe through meditation, um, through relaxation, something comes to you when you close your eyes. Okay. Maybe that's how you connect to your higher power or your resources. I don't know, but whatever it is you're doing, you're doing it right. Keep doing it. Keep doing that. All right. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is my karma card, my gift card, my blessing card. So whatever you're doing, you're taking one pentacle here. Okay. You're looking at it and saying, what can I do with this information? How do I make this into what I want it to be or what it should be? And you do. You go through this whole process, and here you are. You've created it. You've taken one. Now you got six. You got enough to share with people around. Everybody's balanced. Everything's harmonious. But there's blessings. There's a gift in this. There is definitely a gift, a talent, an ability. But I'm also hearing that this brings blessings to people's lives, balance to people's lives, harmony, connection. Again, knowing where the resources are, who to work with and who not maybe to work with. It's all about balance, okay? Because if there's somebody you should work with, there, there's probably someone you don't want to or should not be working with. All right, what a beautiful, awesome message here. This was different. This was the first time I've ever focused, um, had spirit focus on this type of person, the inventor the uh, creator, the transformer, because you're transforming muse inspiration into reality. I don't even know what to call this video. Drop, them, drop me a comment if you've got a really good name, if, it, if my title doesn't suit this, because I'm always looking for the right title. Believe me. I'm hearing the Enchanted Map Oracle. Oh boy, this is going to be good. Don't forget to claim this if this is your message. Yeah, claim it in the comments below. Go ahead and give that like button a tickle tap or a boop in support of this message, in support of yourself, or in support of the person that we are, people that we are focusing on. Or if you just enjoyed the message. <laughs> that works too. All right, let's see what Enchanted Map Oracle message is going to come out here today. Wow, I am so happy I, I've done these readings today. I've got so much energy. Thank you, my lovely, lovely Libras, my cross watchers, my channel fans. You guys are awesome. These have been two really good messages today. And I'm happy for all of you, all of you, every single one of you out there. We have seven into the unknown. Okay, I'm hearing that that goes there. And there is one more message. So two shuffles here, please, Spirit. Thank you. And 28, movement. Okay, so you take something from the unknown and you create with it and you move. Look at this, the chariot and movement. All right, seven says, trust and everything will be revealed to you. 
Life is an adventure and often new opportunities will come to you that you won't know how to deal with. That's me. I don't know what to do with this, but you do. This might be one of those times. So you might be required to trust that this new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into your new and unknown uh, territory here. Okay, so some of you are just coming to this. If you are somebody who's already fully into this, like you're fully into and in being an inventor, a creator, you do this on a regular basis already. Do you have any advice for anyone starting out? Do you have any words of wisdom that you would share with them? Drop that in the comments. Say, I do this. I would, I, uh, here's my words of wisdom or something like that. Okay. I'm sure anybody new to this process will appreciate anything you have to share. All right, so trust in this new phase and real, um, you will see wonders and miracles as you step into your new role. Imagine that you are not only a pathfinder and a path blazer, but a path maker, okay? You are the creator. Whatever your question in life is at this time, you can trust that you will be safe. Oh, okay, I did hear that you have a, uh, an idea for a... a Something using gases. Be careful. Make sure you've got all the information before you go forward. Anyway, stay aware as you discover new and marvelous territories and valuable, valuable treasures. Okay, and that's what you're doing is you're building these treasures for yourself and for others. Absolutely love that message. All right, let's see what 28 says for you. Movement, you are in a time of positive forward motion. This is the time for po positive momentum as you come out of a period of stagnation and restriction. You are in a stage now of new adventure and discovery. You may feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, or move your home or business, or create something that has never been created before. No matter what, you can't remain where you were anymore. No, you have to move. You are feeling like you need to move. You do not want to hold yourself back. No matter what, you will see your dreams take form and doors previously shut begin to open as if by magic. You are starting to create. Movement is also a state of mind, okay? So keep that in your thoughts. When the fog lifts, you now know what actions you need to take. And that may be what I was saying about the closing of your eyes. You don't see what's there. You feel it. But when you open your eyes, the fog is lifted and you have your answers. That is incredible. And there's no room for fear here. Absolutely not. Let any fears go and move forward. Beautiful message there. Oh my gosh. Chills. Chills, chills. We're going to get you... No? Okay, we're going to get you a crystal message. Um, we will do it. Oh, okay. We will do the three uh, yes or no questions at the end. We have calcite, card number eight, which is calmness. It covers all the chakras. All right, and we have rose quartz. Love, heart chakra. And look at this. We have 7-7 seven, seven, and then we have 8-2-8. Eight, 7-7-7. Eight. Seven. Wow. Incredible. On the bottom is tiger eye animals. Okay, card 39, which is 12, which is 3. 3-3-3, three, 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 harmony, peace, balance. Oh, we'll put these over here. No, I was told to leave them right there. We got something else going to come over here. All right, so rose quartz we know is all about love. Okay, let's see what calcite says for you. It's about calmness. Calcite's message for you is to calm down and go with the flow. Try not to fight against the flow of anything. Take some time now to just recharge and get comfortable. In life, there are times when it's difficult to be calm, but it is important that you remember 
to just release any pent up emotions such as stress or anger. Okay, so you may become frustrated at trying something the first time, but you do know where to go for your resources. Okay. I turned my sound off. Oh, I just got messages from a week ago. I just got text messages, emails, and missed phone calls from a week ago on my birthday. So um, crazy. Anyways, once you release the stressful emotions, then you can focus yourself more clearly. Okay. When you are calm, your energy rises. You are more positive and better able to connect more clearly to the spirit world and your intuition. So you may need to carry a piece of calcite if you're new to this process. All right. Let's see what we have. Oh, we're going to end with a witchling's oracle message here. So yeah, carry a piece of calcite if you are starting on this journey of creating. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Abundance. Harmonize your thinking with exactly what you desire to attract and the universe will deliver. This is more than just abundance. This is about you taking from the ether, from the collective consciousness and creating and bringing in exactly what it is that is meant to be made, created. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. This reading is incredible. Beautiful, beautiful message. All right, let's see if there's anything else here. Thank you, Spirit, for all these wonderful things. Courage. Courage is the strength, is the strength, strength to stand up when it's easier to fall down. I'm hearing just don't give up. You've got everything you need. And look at the coloring of this card and how it matches the coloring in this card. Do you see that? I don't know if you can see it, but the colors are very, very similar. I don't know if they're showing up on camera that way or not, but beautiful energy. Don't give up. You will get through this. And meditation just showed up on the bottom. Meditation will transport you to a place of bliss at any desired time of the day. That's using your Im imagination too, I'm hearing. And that's what creates this, you know, when we are using our imagination, we are tuned in and tapped in, okay, to our higher power. Talisman Oracle, we are tuned in to the collective consciousness. And no, Esther Hicks was not the only person to ever say tuned in, tapped in. She may be the one that's known for saying that, most well known. So, of course, I always give credit where credit is due, but... uh yeah, we all are tapped in and tuned in to the collective con consciousness if we have faith, if we are firm believers. Ooh. I love this because we think that this is a negative card, right? I mean, when we see this, we see a mask, we see concealment. But that's not the message that comes with this card. And I absolutely love it. And I'm not going to try to come up with better words because why? Okay, so I'm going to read it to you. You have taught yourself how to be strong, how to be a go-getter, and how to protect yourself. Okay, when you conceal your true identity and don't let people fully know you, they can't hurt you, right? Baloney. Okay, so there's no sense in hiding behind a mask. It, it might be appealing to do so, but you don't need to. If you keep avoiding connecting on a deeper level, it can leave you feeling vulnerable and alone. Commit to making choices that are better for your unique essence and purpose. You know exactly who to connect with and who not to. Do not let anyone tell you that you can't do something, that you're doing it wrong, other than safety issues. Okay, if somebody says, hey, if you do this, you're going to blow yourself up. Double check your work. <laughs> okay, we don't want anyone getting blown up. All right. Or hurt or anything else. Okay. So, um, this is more about uncovering um, different aspects of your life. Okay, so not so much about you, but you knowing where to uncover and find and see the resources that you need. The true things that you need. Okay, so you, you, you can see beyond 
the superficial and really dig deep to what needs to be created. Okay. And it, yeah. And it says when you need to dig deep beneath the surface, um, use this card. Okay. To reveal the, the truth about the situation. Absolutely love that. All right. And then we have knowledge. Of course we have knowledge here and knowledge is all about you knowing and trusting your intuition. JK. P. I have to do my alphabet sometimes out loud. Your knowledge is a powerful tool that can open the doors to opportunities and freedom for you and others. It is an ongoing process to better yourself and others and watch the growth happen. It takes courage and strength to admit when we don't understand something and that we need to seek more information or resources or clues or inspiration, whatever it is. Okay. Following a path of knowledge and learning can bring fulfillment and confidence that there is a solution to every single problem. And that is your attitude here. There is always a solution to any situation, any situation. It's already been done and you know this. It's already happened and you, you just bring it forward. Okay, so we have hope for a brighter future because we own the power of mastering ourselves, our beliefs, and what we can create. And we don't let other people tell us, okay? We do not let that happen. All right, let's get you three yes or no answers here. Answer one is a 10. That is a yes, okay? But tens mean you're about to put burdens down and you got a 10 on top and a four and a six. As soon as those two things are, okay, this one you're putting down, this one needs to come into balance, okay, because you've got the, the four, the six, and then the 11. All right, so something has to come in balance first. All right, answer number two is a 10 again with the exact same number. So if you asked the same question and thought you were going to get a different answer, sorry. Answer number three is a two that is a no and that is a one and a four showing there there is a six down here but it's upside down so don't worry about that six there is a change happening so that two may grow towards a yes eventually all right my lovely lovely libras cross watchers channel fans don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you love this message check out the description box for personal readings love you